Yo, what up, y'all? Today I'll be showing you how to play Escape 4 on the Steam Deck. Now, it's kind of difficult to do because you can't use the normal Steam OS because EA doesn't really like Linux at all. But I won't get too deep into that. Let's get to the tutorial. For this tutorial, you're going to need to dual boot your Steam Deck or just have Windows on it. Um, if you don't know how to do this, I'll put a video in the description that'll help you guys out. It's not made by me. I haven't made a video on that. This is like my first time really making like a tutorial type video, but um, if it does work for you guys, make sure to like. And also in the description, there'll be uh, the hex code location for the registry that we might have to do later on. Here's some of my gameplay on the Steam Deck. But um, as you can see, it runs pretty well. Um, I was actually pleasantly shocked when I was playing the game. And personally for me, the best thing to do was to set FSR to quality, and the game ran really well. Um, I ran like a solid 60, but it felt like it released. Um, I had some bugs of course, but of course, I mean, the game is skate, it's gonna have bugs. It was fun, and that this is probably one of the best Steam Deck Windows games to run, and one of the best reasons to dual boot, of course. Um, the controller works pretty well with it, but I wouldn't use it in long hours due to battery. Another big thing is that the whole reason why you're going to need this tutorial, for most people at least, is that there's an error that pops up if you don't do this tutorial. It should say that your versions for your drivers are off, but of course it's not because we have different AMD chips than the normal chips. Because the Steam Deck has a custom made AMD Radeon chip that obviously isn't available normally, so the game just doesn't recognize it to be updated, even though it just has a different software. So we're going to spoof it to match that system's update. And the main reason why I decided to make this video is because I couldn't really find out how to run Skate on the Steam Deck. And I really couldn't find like a really good video for this, so I decided I should make one for others. Quick disclaimer, if you don't have Windows 11, this is going to be a little bit different, but it's the principles of it is pretty much the same. Um, so you're going to want to go to the registry edit editor. What I did was I right clicked on the Windows tab button on Windows, obviously in the Windows 11 version, and you're going to want to click run. Now, if you don't have this little tab, you can just go into Windows 10. You should be able to search run, and then you're just going to want to type reg edit into the search tab. Then click OK. I have a line of code that you have to paste into the very top. This is just the address of where your folder is located, where all your uh, AMD software updates are kind of like sort of located in again you're gonna just want to paste that in one big problem is that i wasn't really able to use the touch uh the mount the mouse on registry editor so you might have to use touch screen like me after so you should see uh a couple folders i only had two but you might have more but the folder you want to find is one with zero 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 in it but the folder that has zero 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 in it should have a bunch of files in it it should look something like this and the files we're going to want to find are under the r number name so you're going to scroll down to all the r's then you're going to want to find the thing that says radeon software version you're going to want to double tap on it and then change the value data to the ones listed in the description and on the video then you're going to press ok then you're going to want to find a radeon version then right before the dash, you want to delete all the numbers right before it, just before, and change it with the num numbers in the description and also in the video. After, you're just going to click OK, and then restart your Steam Deck, and boom, you should be able to boot into Skip. If you guys have any problems, just put it in the comments section, and if this helped you, make sure to like, as it would help me a lot. 